James as Chief Inclusion Officer for the state of Minnesota was a brilliant move by the governor because it raises the priority of diversity and inclusion in our state. The state of Minnesota has been very successful in having a strong economy for a long time, even through very harsh um, recessions. We've been able to weather those storms because of the number of industries that we have and the strong talent. Hidden behind those numbers of you know, high workforce participation, low unemployment, close to 3%, we have communities, especially communities of color and Minnesotans with disabilities that are double or even three times that. I think what really spurred a lot of our action was uh, a particular census report that came out and it wasn't that it wasn't that it was news that we had disparities and gaps um, in education and opportunity in Minnesota. Uh, what was shocking is that it not only was it not getting better, it was getting worse. We looked at our role and responsibility to um, face disparities head on in, in, in the state. The governor, number one, first used his position. And at the time that we were making the decision to invest in, you know, James's position, he made it a point that everywhere he went, he highlighted the disparities that were in our in our state. James approaches this work as, and he says this often, that he wants to be a coach and that in order to get the results that we want to see, you need someone who um, is going to help everybody get to the place that we all want to be. What personal values does James bring to the job? Uh, number one is integrity. Integrity, compassion, um, a willingness to work across different party lines, different cultures, uh, genders and races. James not only comes with years of experience working in the community and with the community, he's also smart. I also love him more than anything in the whole entire earth. Anything, even a puppy or a cat. So we oftentimes get the question, what does success look like in the space of diversity and inclusion? And um, James and I have been on panels together where we uh, actually have answered this question. And the, and the answer is uh, that we would no longer need a chief inclusion officer or a chief diversity officer because diversity and, and inclusion would be part of um, the processes and procedures within government and business. 